though, because I got my own opinions on this. How do you feel like you get treated being like a black woman in tech? Because I remember, you, of course, you alluded to like why they don't want to pay you a certain amount of money. That's what the recruiter said. But besides that, anything else that like, you notice different from your, you know, other skin contemporaries? At my company, no. Well, before, I'll say this before you got to your company. Any anything that you maybe notice? Hmm. I mean, besides that little salary conversation, not really, because I'm a likable person. And so I can hold a conversation with anybody. Blue, brown, yellow, don't matter. And on top of that, I literally grew up around white people all my life. So I didn't really have any issues with that. Um even before that, I said didn't have no issues. Now, I can say in college, I had a professor. He was very judgmental, and he did not like me wearing girly outfits. And he didn't like me that I had a pink computer. I was literally <laughs> like the legal blonde. What, what is it? Legally blonde? Legally blonde? I was that person in the class. And he was like, why are you in my classroom with all this pink on? Uh, excuse me? I paid my tuition just like everybody else. Matter of fact, and I paid mine in cash. So please don't try to come for me. about <laughs> no pink in this classroom. Yeah, I'm trying well, to see why he cares. Besides that one professor, that's the only issue I had. Oh, and besides that salary incident, so See, yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a, I don't know. Maybe I say it's different sectors and tech where it's different. Like for example, I got I got my ebook coming real soon. Everybody yeah. dropping the ebooks. And I'm probably gonna talk about it. Like one of the biggest issues, the reason one of the reason I actually got my master's also is because I don't see a lot of people that look like me that are managers, yeah, or that are the hiring managers. I can't tell you how many interviews if not all of them i went on where i didn't see nobody look like me across the table no i can't agree because i'm the only black girl in my company yeah and it was it was times it was kind of like you know weird like i just could feel like you know sitting at the table like all oh, these and then it's not younger people it's like some like kind of like older middle-aged white men and people mm -hmm. like that and i'm like hmm. like i think one of the things that got me is like i had this interview for uh, a security assistant and i wanted that job because i was gonna get to travel like every day and come back on like Friday, Saturday, and I think leave Sunday evening or some crap like that. Mm -hmm. And I got to the interview, it was nothing but, you know, white people. And I feel like that, because sometimes when you go in person, because I killed all the other stuff. Yeah. And I killed that interview too. And then they say, we decided to go with somebody with more experience. I'm like, what you mean? You knew my experience before you took me to that, that thing. And that, that position didn't really require a lot of experience. Oh. Yeah, so they have a lot of vague ways to say why they hire you. Like I went through um, a position one time interviewing to where verbatim the recruiter told me that they told him told them, yeah, he was the best candidate we we interviewed, but we're gonna pass on him. I'm like, what? Well, I'll say this: if that ever happened to me, I didn't know because I probably didn't really care. <laughs> but that makes sense to like, wow, you think about it. Yeah. Especially like when you ask for feedback. Man, it wasn't even that. I was just like, so why they said, like, because I know when it's stuff be going, I'm just like, so what's the reason for them saying no, really? Yeah. Um, don't even get me started on Texas Instruments. I'm talking about them dudes wasting my time but for like four or five years. But you know bad down here in Atlanta with that? Um, what is it? Ernest Young? They're horrible down here. Really? Yeah, horrible. Like, a lot of black people don't like working there. See, I, so I interviewed four people. And a Centra, too. Sorry if I'm putting people name dropping, but I <laughs> like that down here. Really? Yeah. I was trying to work in Century like when I first got out of uh, college too. I got a shout out to Brent. I think I seen Brent like this. Um, Brent was trying to get me on there, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, uh, it's crazy because I lost my train of thought that fast. What job was I talking about? I think I was talking about Ti. I was talking about TI because I think they wasted my time like four or five times, like making me get up early, wearing my good suits. Oh yeah, your watch is nice, blah, blah, blah. And then you like you interviewed me four or five times just to ghost me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was looking, I was looking simpish in my emails. That's why I'm a I'm actually a different person now when it comes to career coaching. I'm probably gonna tell people I really don't believe in follow-ups. I really feel like if they like you, they like you. Cause I've never sent a follow up. That's what I'm saying. Cause I feel like every time I sent a follow up, I didn't even get that job. And you know what's so crazy with the job I'm at now? I didn't even apply for it. They called me and found me off the internet. Yeah. So I did one the, interview and that was it. They was like, "Yep." They were like, "How much you want?" Oh, okay. We'll send you an email. 
<laughs> with some of my um my um my strategies now, I apply uh, the company I'm at now. I apply for a different role. Then the director at the time hit me up and was like, "Hey, you talked to so and so yesterday. So uh, yeah, we know you worked here. Um, Wooty Woo, yeah. Um, so look, let's just make it at the last uh, spot. All right. So how about we offer you, you know, this amount? Blah, blah. I was like, bet, because my my drought ended towards like May of 2018, and then that's when like all my offers started coming in. Like I, I had an offer from like uh, Atos, a customer company now. But right after I accepted, I could have leveraged this some more, which I should have did, but I didn't care. I just so happy to get another job. Right after I accepted my um, offer for Optiv, uh, Hilton called me and it was like, yeah, we got a new cyber program. We're running up. We want to, um, you know, you we like your profile, or whatever. We want to kind of like, you know, talk to you, whatever. Say, well, shoot, I just got an offer. I, you know what I'm saying? So let's do this. Or whatever and yeah so, but that was going to be cool because they were doing a lot of cool things with hilton as well but now looking two years later i don't know how beneficial that'd be like with them taking a hit with the you know the economy and pandemic with people not staying in hotels and stuff as much so mm-hmm. who knows what would have led into that now because hindsight always 2020. Mm-hmm. but yeah i mean this company like in my book when i probably get towards the end i'm like this is the only company where like i could say like Look what happens when you give a black person the same chance as everybody else. Cause most of the time in life, like everybody else is like ahead of us, and then we start way behind and we gotta run super fast to catch up. Yeah. In this position, everybody started off at the same, and I pretty much went past everybody. I mean, still that's doing good. it now. So that's that's definitely like like I think everybody who's watching this know like all we really want is like an equal opportunity and a fair chance to shine. Like that's it. I don't want to have to come in and bust my butt to um, outshine somebody who's getting paid more than me who don't know what they're doing. Like, I got a friend who's constantly dealing with this. Like, why they hired this dude? He ain't got the credentials to be over me. He don't know what he's doing. I've literally had that happen to one of my clients when I was on a consultation, and she was telling me about that. And I was like, that is just crazy. And they, they hired their homeboys at that. That would be Thanks. Nice. You hire your homeboy that don't know nothing about this. So it's like, mm. and then you got to tread lightly because you don't know if you gonna, if the homeboy's sensitive or not. So it's just. And that's, that's big facts. I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, my company, when I first went to Dallas, one of the guys started working there. Um, I'm going to show what Angel said because, you know, I like I like her comments. I, hey, Angel be on it. I love <laughs> her story because she be so on it. What is, I mean, what since she can't read something. I can't see it on my phone. Really? Oh, she said a consultation fee is a must. If you go on YouTube, you, you oh, should yeah. be able to see it. What is, uh, Angel, what do you do? You ain't checked out Halo yet? No, no, no. I hadn't, I don't think, I don't think I'm uh, familiar with her. Oh, yeah. Go check out Halo. I've been, I've been trying to get familiar with like all oh, like the, the, the tech people. Like uh, right now, like you, like you mentioned me and I think uh, Empress and I forgot who else. Um, I stumbled upon you, uh, Annalise, Day Cyberwalks. Uh, it's a couple of people. I, I've been, uh, I think I found about, I think Visual Empress, her name is Taylor. I stumbled upon her. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's called it? I actually wouldn't mind extending the olive branch. I think uh, she saw me probably being a little bit uh, jerky one time with her comments, and I really wasn't. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. When you came on my YouTube with your comment, I'm like, who are you talking to? <laughs> yeah. I was, like, I was like, wait, what are you trying to say? Yeah, no. Nah, I, I didn't read it. I was like, hold on. <laughs> right, yeah, because, I mean, I didn't mean no disrespect, but I was kind of telling you, like, my POV on, like, internships, stuff like that, and I was just like, that's why I try to, like, type it out good. I'm like, no, not, we can always talk about so I can explain myself. Even, yeah, even me and her situation, it was like, because I knew at the time I had, you know, more experience than her. And I was telling her that she was doing a good job. And what I normally do in my videos where I'm trying to inform people, I, I script them out. And I was saying, you're doing a good job. But I was like, I feel like sometimes you're being, you know, repetitive. And sometimes you're like saying stuff that you already said over and over again. And, she, you know, I can understand you were creators. You could be sensitive about our stuff. But it was only meant to help. Because even at that time, I wasn't even doing this channel at the time. I had a boxing channel. Mm-hmm. And um, I was just telling that. So, I mean, you know, maybe, you know, maybe you can see a collab like that luckily me i'm used to it that's what i do for work i listen to feedback and criticism all day but i was just like <laughs> i was like what he trying to say because no because i watched the video hit thumbs up so it wasn't like i was on there like yeah, I, know, I was like 
is he trying to say he want to do a video together? Or, I was like, wait, what? Yeah. I was like, what is he trying to say? Hey, for y'all that don't know, this video was, I mean, this live session was supposed to be done probably like four months ago. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Miss Justice is a busy bee. I be tired because I be doing so many things. So I be like, and then on top of that, I do interior design too on the weekends. So. Yeah, I saw that. You know what I'm saying? You reminded me like, um, even though you don't watch shows a lot, Tyler Perry had the show.